Welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also everybody on YouTube if you're watching this video later on over there for some Jund midrange. So this is our next deck that we're playing here on this Easter stream day today. Uh, this is a, a deck that we just kind of put together here uh, with Twitch chat a little while ago. Um, haven't played it yet, but you know it, it looks pretty solid. It's, it's basically Golgari uh, from the previous format, um, but we are also playing a lot of really cool red cards. So, a couple of notable things in here. I'm, I'm not sure if I want Lava Coil or Cast Down, honestly. I don't know. I'm going Lava Coil for the Exile because I'm going Bedevil instead of Contempt, and Bedevil doesn't Exile. So, I think maybe kind of splitting the difference between those two. Uh, having the Exile there. Because, like, we have Chupacabras that are basically Cast Downs also, right? So... Yeah, I could see it being wrong, but in case we, we do face like Phoenixes or Seraph of the Scales or things that we need exiling uh, for our opponent's sake, uh, I like how that we have a couple of Lava Coils. The reason why I'm playing Bedevil instead of Contempt now is because it costs three instead of four. With having Chupacabras and Phoenixes as really good four drops, I didn't really want to play Contempt also on the four mana slot. So I wanted something else in the three mana slot, and Bedevil helps us out there. Um... I like Vivian a lot more than Domri, just kind of in general. I think Vivian's a, a much more powerful card, and I don't think the difference between four and five mana is really too much whenever we already have a whole lot of good things to do at four. Um, and I think Vivian's just a much more powerful card, so we're just going with Vivian's there. Um, besides that, the the other the, the main thing I'm really excited about with Jund is I love Direfleet Daredevil with uh, Find Finality. Um you know, with our our own find, we get to you know grab our daredevil back. Or if our opponent's playing find finality, we get to daredevil their find finality. For example, we had a couple more daredevils in our sideboard for if we're playing against a find finality deck or a blue black deck with thought erasures, or if we're playing against an is it deck where they're playing lava coils and drakes and stuff like that, we can lava coil their own drakes. Um, so it it can it's a good card against a lot of decks. Um, even Mono Red, like getting their burn spells to kill their creature. The problem against Mono Red, though, is the is you know Chain Whirler killing your creature kind of thing at that point. But we'll see there. Um, but uh, Daredevil is pretty good, too. Um, last card is Ravager Worm. Been having some fun with Ravager Worm and some different Teamer decks that we've been playing. Um, and even and Gruel decks also. Uh, this card has just been really impressive for us. And so I'm... I I like it here, and it, I'm pretty excited to play it in this shell also. And uh, use Find to get back Ravager Worms, so we have more Ravager Worms. That sounds pretty cool, too. Um, so there we go. Uh, Sideboard-wise, we got Duress for Control. We got Cinder Vines for Wilderness Reclamation. Kral Harpooner for Mono Blue. Um, Angrath for Control. And... Don't have very much against aggro, but hopefully our Wild Growth Walker and a bunch of removal is just good enough if we do face an aggro deck. Jun midrange. Yeah, Ravager Worm is cool. I agree. Could play one Journey to Eternity. The upside on Journey to Eternity is very very high the upside is but the downside is really really low the deck already just has like basically all good cards that have a pretty good floor and everything so I don't think you necessarily need the journey so this is the kind of hand that can be really bad you know could basically do nothing with by just but just playing a couple wild growth walkers or you know we have a draw steps that we can fill out our curve and everything like that. Whoa. So I'm guessing we're facing a Jund mirror here against Jund Warriors. I have not made any Okay, so I haven't made a chart for the War of the Spark rankings, but that's something that if I have some more time uh, in the next couple of days that I am planning on doing, but I, I haven't made one. Uh, streaming for about five more hours today. 
about that. Uh, basically going to be playing these three decks, Jun Midrange, Bant Tokens, the Nesper Legends, in some leagues where we play them until we win five or lose two. A Jade Light Ranger would be really nice about now. Yeah, if they have Chain Whirler combo against us, uh, that's going to be really tough for us. Uh, Skoo Jock. We're going to go with Skoo. Or SCU. Thank you so much, SCU, for the sub there. Enjoy all the awesome emotes and everything. And thank you so much for the support. Unfortunately, not another red source, unfortunately. Ugh. Stop making 4-4s four that I can't lightning strike. Let's tear this place apart. Correct. You give Death Touch to the Chain Whirler before it enters. Yep, that's the combo. Feel the wrath of Scala. So we are very, very likely dead at any time. That's really our only play. Not finding any explore creatures was our downfall. What a glorious day for some. Whatever happens next, it's gonna hurt ya. Balance comes. So I guess we're just going to play Branchwalker and Phoenix for now. Quit before you get your teeth kicked in. Does that thing have trample? I don't think it does, does it? Nah. Alright, that's good. So we get to block that. So, you know, Vivian can kill it. That can't help you now. And let's tack on over here. Oh, looks like you're all mouth and no hands. Just want a daredevil lightning strike upstairs. That'll put them down to 13, 4, 8, 11, 13. I technically have 13 on the battlefield. We already, yeah, so I'm already keeping a, a blocker back. I don't, I don't think we need to keep another blocker back. If you know, I, so I could have, I could have kept the branch walker back and yeah, and Daredevil lightning striked the Domri as well. But I don't think they're gonna have two haste creatures, kind of thing. Yeah, so that that's the thing. So yeah, trying to make it harder for our opponent to have like the haste uh, part of their deck with 
Domri out of the equation. You can't stop nature. Um, yeah, we can, we can lightning strike Chupacabra to kill the Phoenix, of course. Which I think I'm priced into doing that. They're at, uh, I don't know. I guess I, maybe I should have just left one Phoenix back. All right, yeah, we're priced into doing that. I should have left one Phoenix back. I should not have attacked with both Phoenixes. Um, I could certainly die to another Hellkite here. But the thing is, is, we've been dead to so many different cards for so long. You know, with just another Lightning Strike anyway. Alright, it's not a Hellkite. No Lightning Strike? Is that which which way is that? I don't know. Good game. All right, we get it. I don't know if we even sideboard here. I don't know if we actually sideboard. I don't think so. I'm not going to sideboard. Yeah, they do have Hellkites, but I don't... It's just like... Like, how many Hellkites are they actually playing? Two? I don't want to bring in harpooners for that. I don't want to like, kill phoenixes with harpooners. Our cards in our main deck are already pretty good, and it seems pretty situational for a harpooner to actually do something. Could take out Dire Fleet. That was certainly a consideration, and yeah, bring in Angrath instead. I could see that. That's reasonable. I, th I feel like my opponent's going to have, like, Lava Coil in their deck. Also, like, like this this game, I feel like they're going to have Lava Coil, and I feel... So, I kind of like Daredevil here post-sideboard more than pre-sideboard. And it's just, it's just one Daredevil. It'll probably do something. Find something for it to do. Good job, Jade Light. I like drawing lands.
Hey, Bethel. Card so good. Hmm. I don't have dubs black. Phoenix so good. Stop. So at least they play that pre-combat so we know what they're going to have this turn. Um, so I can save or what they're going to have. So I'm going to save my life. I uh, just bedevil this thing. Um, and then Chupacabra the token. You know, if they just would have gone to attackers first, do I just pull that off? Probably not. I'll probably wait a little bit and see what's going on. Dealing with this other Phoenix, though, is going to be kind of tough. Bird of Paradise win? I don't think we have, we're going to have Bird of Paradise in standard soon. Kind of relying on my opponent playing Lava Coil for this Daredevil. But they haven't. That's not the best for me. No, Wakoi! No, please! Oh, pick me up before the real fun begins. Yeah, you can find the Demir discard list. On my stream stream decker page right there, streamdecker.com slash decks slash Todd Stevens MTG. These fine finalities are not good. Not good at all. So if I, I'm one mana short for next turn, getting back Chupacabra, playing Chupacabra to kill a Phoenix, and also Daredevil Lightning Strike and Lightning Striking the Phoenix. So one mana short of that next turn. I kind of don't want this Daredevil anymore. Yeah. I like getting Nangrath in over it on the play. Especially these Land War Elves on the play. Hopefully we can get that Land War Elf or that Angrath in a little faster. But, 
Yeah, didn't see any lava coils from their end, unfortunately. Do you want a Harpooner or a Phoenix? Was, like I was saying before, I think Harpooner only does, like, um, it's, like, I, like, they, they don't, they, there's no way they have, like, a ton of Hellkites, right? There's, like, I don't think they have four Hellkites kind of thing. Three Hellkites? Still, like, maybe, but, um, my best performing deck this season was Grixis Discard. My favorite deck... Um, it's probably still that deck also. Um, overall. Alright, sending this thing real quick here. Alright, we've got a lot of mana. Vivian Reed would be a nice draw. Vivian Angrath? Okay, I'll take that. That's a good one. Yeah, I said Grixis. Yeah. Not another Llanowar Elf. I guess if I would have played the Jade Light last turn, we would have seen Llanowar Elf on top and been able to ditch it. No, I didn't do the the climb stuff very much this last season. Only did a couple of days last week. Make sure to get the Vras's contempt. Are you, are you certain of your decision? Chain Whirler is annoying. So four, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Let's put them down to four. Where even if they go get Chain Whirler to kill all my Llanowar Elves and everything, then the Rekindling Phoenix will kill them. So basically they need a <clears throat> Nothing is ever truly lost. They need a land and a lightning strike. Oh. That works also. Lava Coil works just as well. well that's... That's really bad for me. I went for the win. Awaken! Wow, that's kind of risky. I didn't go through hell to come to me. You know, they could just play another spellbreaker. So we draw any removal spell. Come on, removal spell. Dang. All right, we got these Ravager Worms in our deck for a reason, right? Let's draw a Ravager Worm. Or that Angrath that I put in here. The Angrath would be pretty nice.
No one knows the wilds like I do. We drew Daredevil the first two games, so we should probably draw the Angrath here, right? Like we draw that card all the time. Ooh. Alright, they left themselves dead to Ravager Worm. Blech. Oh no, this is tough. We just need Angrath. I've seen things that would break. Give them the card that costs the most mana. At this point, they can still double spell with Phoenix. Oh, all right now, since they didn't go Phoenix, Ravager Worm wins. Also, we can win again with Ravager Worm now. Come on, Ravager Worm, let's punish them. Dang. So I could have just attacked Karn for six and dealt less damage to them, and then they didn't get they wouldn't be able to get Chain Whirler. But they would still just be able to play those creatures and and everything. Basically put them put them really close to being dead there. Because let's say let's say I just a attack and kill Karn, I just have a bunch of like you know one ones and everything. All they need to do is just play the um, the spellbreaker we know about and already bricks like all those one ones and stuff. The other one thing I could have done differently that game though is turn two I could have just played Landwar Elf and then attacked for one. And not played the Wild Growth Walker also, and waited till the next turn. We would have five mana, and I would have been able to play Wild Growth and Jade Light in the same turn. That is, of course, assuming that my opponent did not just use their Lightning Strike on one of my two Lanwar Elves. There's 24 lands in the deck. They have another Thought Rager for this Jade Light. We are in trouble. Of course, I'm shocking in the Stomping Ground because my opponent knows about that land. That is why I was doing that. That was a good Jade Light, getting extra lands. Um, if there's like whatever card we wanted on top, the Thief of Sandy would be taking that card, so keeping a card on top doesn't do a ton of good for us. That was two other lands. Maybe it was just all lands in a row? Never know. Uh, 
one mana short of a finality there. But maybe waiting a turn for a finality is not so bad. It's kind of bad. I know. You know what? I'm not done yet. Hmm. So if I finality... I'm gonna do it. Pull that thief out of there. I think them drawing a random card with Teferi yeah. is less good than them looking at the top three cards of my library and taking whichever one they want. Dang, I need that bedevil. When you mull the five, Basilica Bell Hunt hurts you even more. Relax, Grachi. It's okay. Why did our opponent upkeep this contempt? Because they need they need to untap the lands I'm not ready for with the fairy to have the extra mana. They could have done it at their end step, as well, but they needed the extra mana there. Um, that the fairy provided. Just move on to the next game. The target there for the lava coil is the Lazav, because Lazav is Thief of Sanity, but we're just gonna move on to the next game. Let's get these Angrats in there and more Daredevils and try not to mulligan to five. That is plan number one, not mulliganing to five. Would I rather play Duress over Llanowar Elf? Y'all are saying yes. I'm pretty worried of just hitting land drops, though, if that's the case. Like, I'm, I'm pretty worried of casting my spells. Y'all think that looks better? Yeah, it looks like y'all like Duress more. Um, so HUS, how many War of the Spark packs do I need to buy to get the specific rares and mythics that I want? About 24-ish. So you could do, I mean, well, like, technically, you know, if you do, um, you know, getting a, a, uh, getting a wild card for every six packs that you buy, you know, 24 times six, yeah, that will absolutely get you everything you want. Now, obviously, 
that's quite a bit of packs. Um, and you should be able to get lucky and open up some of those rares and mythics, but you may not get as many of them, of those rares and mythics, as you would hope. And so, you know, you may need a 24 times 6. Did I say divided? Definitely times. Um, so that's like, that's like your maximum number of packs. You can go less than that and see how many of those that you open, though. You know, you can kind of do, like, you know, half of that and see what happens and so on. We don't have any status statue without Chain Whirler in this deck, if that's what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, that's that's good. You can switch the worm to an Angrath, absolutely. It's not bad. We can play that next turn. Because next turn we can't Chupacabra no matter what. We don't have... We wouldn't be able to have two black sources next turn to Chupacabra. So might as well just play this. Jade Light Ranger, have this one be a 4-3. And now we look for another black source. They're not black sources. Let's put those in the graveyard. Attack. It definitely seems like Absorb, playing the card that's worse in my hand against Absorb. Or like, the card that I care to resolve the least. Hmm. Yeah, so definitely have Absorb. They're trying to protect me from casting Angrath. So played really well against the counter spell there by not just throwing out either the planeswalkers for them to counter. Now they're in very rough trouble. Like I don't, I don't know how they get out of this now. I mean, well, I guess how they get out of it is that they have Kaya's Wrath plus Duress. And that was their way out of it. I could play a Harpooner for Thief of Sanity. I could go three Duress, one Harpooner. I kind of don't hate that with having Find Finality and like Vivian to find it and stuff. Let's do that. Let's play a Harpooner. Why do we keep drawing two fine finalities like in our opening hand? Like this card that's amazing late, but is just not not any good early at all. How do we have two of those? Keep drawing a bunch of those. You think this is a mulligan? 
the reason why I don't want to mulligan this is because we can get... We can really get stuck on lands here. With our three-color deck, we have good mana. Two of every color. And at least we'll be able to play magic. Mulliganing against... Against our opponent's deck, too, with their Thought Erasures and Basilica Bell Haunts and all that kind of stuff is really tough. See, our, our hand's pretty bad against Thought... You know, like... <clears throat> our hand's pretty bad anyway, so Thought Erasure just isn't even good. So that's... That's a plus. In other matchups, we can mull. This matchup is kind of tough to mulligan that. Because of how important all the cards are. I kind of want to cast Find right now and just have Chupacabra for next turn. Yeah, I should do that. Alright, so they get one thief hit. A lot safer than playing Phoenix, and then they have a removal spell for Phoenix, and then we take another hit. They could have maybe hit three lands in a row. That's possible. Phoenix. Um, this is Young the Giant. Brother's Keeper. I don't think... I don't think Deckmaster does anything about thief cards. Alright, so we get rid of the Bell Haunt, we get rid of the Kai's Wrath. Or not. Not getting rid of Kai's Wrath. Beasts are much more relaxed. Meet my newest friend. I would have liked that Vivian. I have a lot of Vivians. Talk about so cards that we haven't like seen at all. That, huh? Playing the Jade Light Ranger to try to help our draw steps. You know, like if we were going to draw that Overgrown Tomb and then Lava Coil, seen things that we would certainly be like you. in a lot of trouble. We already are in a lot of trouble. We need our own Vivian. Or we need a, a Ravager Worm. Kill this... Kill there, Vivian. Come to me. Looks like we're going to be owing two.
that thief hit was just incredible. With the the Vivian. No one knows the wilds like I do. So if we if we bedevil that Vivian and we draw a find finality, we get to find back double Chupacabra. We can Chupacabra the Doom Whisperer and Lyra Dawnbringer. Uh, this Doom Whisperer should mean that they get to should mean they get to find a Teferi. Are they just going to find a removal spell and then kill me? All right, yeah, I'm dead. So that means I have to bedevil the Doom Whisperer, but I can't take, I can't keep up with Vivian at that point. Yeah, if you're a beginner to magic, check out uh, this article series of like maybe this can help you become a better better magic player. Just learn learn different things. Check that out there, the level one full course. It was written a couple years ago, but still very applicable and has a lot of very good information all right so our jun deck didn't do so well we did not necessarily draw very well um yeah we didn't have like the oh, whoops we didn't just have like the hydroid crisis kind of thing to help pull ahead or you know we never like played in an early vivian and you know having vivian take over or anything like that or you know we didn't we never really had any kind of good curves just, you know, mulligan if we didn't have any lands or if we just had a bunch of lands, we drew some others kind of thing. Even, like, like those games where we'd have three Vivians, two Angras, we couldn't find any Planeswalkers. Except for, like, I mean, I guess we did the one game that we won, but... <laughs> yep. That's uh, not very, not very many games you know, that you play in two loss, you know, when you lose two. So, uh, you know, like that certainly happens pretty easily. You can owe two with good decks because it's just, it's not a very large sample kind of thing. Good games, Mana Leak. <laughs> no, we're not playing Chain Roller Status Combo. That's, that's, Chain Roller st Status Combo is a red deck that splashes the other two colors. This is a Jun deck. That is, those are different decks. Um, this card, this is a card that I was really excited to play. We didn't draw it a single time ever, whenever it would have been great so many times. Didn't draw this the entire league, and that was really sad. We drew so many fines early on that we didn't want, but never drew a Ravager Worm. That was really sad. Um, so... All right, so that's Jun Midrange. Uh, not every league's going to go your way, and that's okay. We'll uh, see how the next one goes with Bant Tokens. If you're watching this video later on on YouTube, I hope you enjoyed it. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you for the next one.